welcome to vlogmas day five it is sunday morning which for most people would be a day of rest but not for me i've got too much to do um today i think my mum is coming over in a couple of hours time i'm hoping to have filmed one video by then it is perfect weather for video filming it's blue skies the sun is shining so um yeah i'm gonna make the most of that and film a christmas decoration haul which I also want to edit and upload so that you guys will hopefully have seen it last night. So fingers crossed that will happen. Just did my makeup, which I kind of showed you guys a little bit. Although my skin for some reason is really, really dry. I think maybe because I have not been very good with my skincare routine recently. I have just been using micellar water and um, I think my skin just needs a little bit more nourishment. So it's actually not very good today. It's kind of like the makeup is just clinging in weird places and my eyebrows are horrendous. I've just booked in to get them done tomorrow actually. Um, but yeah, they're looking a little bit rubbish. So that's why I've gone for a red lip because I'm trying to detract the eye from the rest of the face. Uh, I'm using the Zoeva Pure Velours Lip in red and it's the first time I've used that exact one. I've used the pink one before this one here and I adore it so much. Love the colour of this one in particular, but I thought a bold red lip would distract from the rest of my face today. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go downstairs in a second and start filming. But for some reason, like I said in yesterday's vlog, when I'm busy, I procrastinate. This morning, while doing my makeup, I decided to have a clear out or a mini clear out. I normally have a big, big beauty clear out in January. Um, but I've just been pulling out some pieces which either I haven't used for a long time or they're not quite perfect for me. So I'm gonna get a few of these in a little bag for my friends. I'm getting rid of this Galan eyeshadow palette because I have actually got four different ones which are very, very similar. Um, and then a L'Oreal lipstick which I've not used before. And I feel like if I've had a lipstick for three months and I've not used it then I should probably move it on to a better place. Max Factor, Full Slash Epic, everyone raves about this, I just can't really get along with it. Uh, this is a Pixie by Petra Multi Balm, haven't used that in absolutely ages. This is an Erin blush, it's a cream blush, and I just find myself not using cream blushes because I'm not confident with them. It's brand new and unused, so I might give that as a Christmas gift, I don't know, that's a little bit cheeky, isn't it? And then I've got an unused Charlotte Tilbury cream brush, uh, blush even. A Shantikai eyeshadow, which actually I put on this morning and found that it was too dry and didn't really stick to my eyelids very well. So yeah, that's just a few of the pieces that I'm moving on to a better home. I'll just put them in a bag and let my friends rummage through because my beauty drawers are just overflowing. So yeah, having a little bit of a clear out as you can see behind me. And then I'm gonna stop myself from doing that in a second because I'm procrastinating too much. I'm gonna finish off my coffee in my personalized mug. I got this at the Pandora event. They gave it as one of the gifts, which is very, very generous of them. I just love anything personalized. Um, looks like my lipstick is making a few marks on it, but can't really be helped. So. I'm going to carry on doing a very quick clear out and then I will start filming downstairs. Just finished filming my first video of the day. Excuse my attire. I've just had to take my Christmas jumper off because I was roasting. This is one of my M&S thermals, although I tend to not show this one so much because I'm not the biggest fan of this weird lace pattern, um, but it's a good layer. You guys know how much I love my thermals. So this is the bomb site that I now have to deal with. Honestly, there is no bigger mess than an after filming mess. Look how horrendous my lounge looks. Um, and I'm just so roasting because our fire is chucking out some serious heat right now. Had to film in a weird location as well um, because the lighting in here is just absolutely crazy. It's like low sunshine today. So I had to really shuffle up close to the fireplace. So I'm now gonna deal with all of this mess before mum and Dexter get here. 
which should be any second now. bit of vlog photography but the light is going sadly it's only just gone one o'clock but already it's starting to get dark um but i thought i would just quickly show you this which i've just unboxed i was not expecting it to be quite so ginormous but it is a reed diffuser from next from their winter collection and if you like your house to smell amazing then i highly recommend these they are quite inexpensive considering how good they are how fabulous they smell um, and yeah, we kind of got the idea from Charlie's mum who always has them throughout the house and now we are addicted to them. So I thought I'd just share that snippet with you. Um, I also just checked my phone and I've been regrammed by a company called Like To Know It, which is, I don't know if you know on my Instagram, some of them are shoppable and you basically have to sign up to Like To Know It in order to get the things that I'm wearing in my Instagram delivered straight to your inbox and it's actually a really good service. So if you like what I wear on my Instagram, then it's worth spending just 30 seconds signing up to Like To Know It and then every time you double tap one of my photos where I've linked things, you'll get an email with shoppable links straight to your inbox and they have like three million Instagram followers so it's pretty cool when you get regrammed by them so hopefully I might get a few new Instagram followers uh, so mum should be here any second with Dexter just dashing around the house doing a few last minute tidies um, and then little boys coming back just got a text from Lala and she's here which means our little boys back here he comes here he comes my baby <laughs> it's my baby who is it it's a little boy oh. <laughs> look huh it's daddy where's daddy oh missed him so much Skinny, my boy is here we are reunited reunited <laughs> i'm just trying on my new jacket i think it might be a bit it too may be a little big, big but it's because no, i'm so I small don't know if it is or not. well the velcro is i'm afraid because the velcro ends there so i have to adjust it what do you think my sausage well, <laughs> and then the colour goes if up, we, I suppose, if it's raining. If we it? just move, well, the other problem is it doesn't have a collar on it, Joe. So. Oh, <laughs> come and show us your new jumper sausage. Mm. Do you like it? Yes, I'm very smart, you see. I'm a smarty pants. <laughs> Look at my nice <laughs> jumper. Thank you, Mummy and Daddy, for my new gift. And Gemma. Yes, thank you, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> It is so good to have my little boy back. Oh, I have missed him so much. I haven't seen Dex in over a week and this time more than any other time when we've been apart. I have just missed this little chappy so much. He's very sleepy at the moment. We've just been having lots and lots of cuddles. He's in a very loving mood, aren't you, baby? Can't even keep his eyes open. Look at that little face. Oh, so uh, mum and Charlie have just gone to Tesco to get some food for a late lunch and I've just moved my marble table by the window so that I can take some vlog photos. Turns out that doing photos for a gift guide is actually pretty tricky because obviously everything's pretty big. So I did some photos by the fireplace but they were just dark and boring. So now I've just laid some sparkly holly on the marble table which is an Oliver Bonus table and I'm just kind of laying some bits and bobs on there. Yeah, it's taking quite a lot longer than I thought and today was another day that I was meant to be doing tons today, meant to be shooting everything, editing loads of things, shooting like three videos, but uh, yeah, not really going to plan. So I'm just gonna carry on um, shooting some gift guide photos, trying to be quite selective because I feel like what a lot of bloggers do is they just feature everything that they've been sent and then it's just like a ginormous gift guide full of tons and tons of beauty products but I'm going to try and be really selective, pieces that I genuinely think you guys are going to love um, so hopefully you like it. I will let you know in the next Vlogmas or whenever it's live on the blog so you can go and check it out. It's going to be very big and comprehensive but it's going to be very well edited, hopefully. <laughs>
So let's help him put the wreath up. How's it looking? Well, I think, I think we've just about got it there. Yeah. Actually, I don't know how secure it is. Pray. We have had a productive afternoon. I've taken all of my gift guide photos and now I'm just helping Charlie to take some cooking photos. Charlie, what are you making, darling? We are making Madeline Shaw's healthy risotto. So it's yeah. buckwheat, asparagus and pea. Yeah. And we're sticking some ham in as well. Sounds it's good quite to wintry. me. And I'm being the photographer. It's really role reversal recently. Of course, we do have a little bit of extra help from a certain small friend. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the house is looking festive. So we've managed to get the wreath tied up. Actually, I say we. Mum managed to get the wreath tied up so that we can still see through the hole in the middle. It's very handy. Oh, there's a puppy in the house. You are so small. Welcome to my house, he said. <laughs> Dinner is served. Thank you, darling. This is for mummy, not for babies. It is six o'clock now, but it feels more like 10 p.m. Pitch black outside. We are having a snuggly Sunday evening at home. Charlie just made that lovely risotto and my mum has just left. Uh, Charlie's got the rugby on his iPad and I'm just doing a little bit of work. I've got a couple of blog posts that I need to schedule and I'm also painting my nails. I got this um, set from Nailberry the other day. Is it Nailberry? Yeah, um, this is a five in one nail elixir. So I've just put that on now and then I'm going to use this kind of like a lilac -y plum color. It's called, let's have a look, uh, Dial M for Maroon. And then there's also a sparkly one, so I might do like an accent nail. So just having a bit of a pamper, I'm gonna go up and take my makeup off as soon as my nails are dry, and face hopefully, mask. yeah, I'm gonna put a face mask on, hopefully get a little bit of work done. We are just about to start putting a few of our decorations up, a few of the bits and bobs that I unpacked earlier. I'm still exporting my Christmas decoration haul video. I wanted you guys to see it on Sunday night, but who knows, it's taking about four hours to export at the moment. Uh, so I've just put this little Christmassy garland on the top of the fireplace and it's just full of frosty pine cones and woodland items and Charlie and I also picked up some sparkly gold branches from the shopping centre so we're going to try and make a bit of a focal point of the fireplace behind us so let's see what we can do. How do you like your new cushion my sausage? Let me see the cushion daddy. It says Daxon through the snow. In a one horse open sleigh, Dexter is a puppy. Hip 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 hooray! Got eye boogies. Right. <laughs> come upstairs and my makeup looks absolutely atrocious. I can't wait to take it off. I'm gonna have a bit of a pamper night now. I'm gonna take my makeup off, use all my nicest products, and then I'm going to put um, quite a cleansing face mask on. Today has been, I feel like I've been busy all day, but I can't really put my finger on what I've achieved. And yeah, not exactly a relaxing Sunday. I've got my laptop behind me, uploading some photos to my blog because I've got a deadline tomorrow for a blog post I need to write. And then I'm gonna lie in bed with my face mask on and edit this vlog. So yeah, my to-do list still is like film three more videos, um, edit like seven different blog posts, photograph about five other blog posts, all with a deadline of Wednesday so pretty busy and to make matters worse I don't have any more days at home I've just got days out in town at meetings so I literally do not have time to do any of that stuff getting a little bit stressed to say the least um, but we'll find a way gonna set my alarm for like five o'clock in the morning to get things rolling so I've just heard that Chaz is out of the shower so oh <laughs> there we go back into the bedroom I'm gonna start taking my makeup off and start doing some pampering. Oh. 
Okay, so the final step in my evening skincare routine tonight is a bit of pampering and I'm using a mask from Star Skin. This I think is going to be a sheet mask but I've not tried this one before so I'm not too sure. It's their purifying lift away mud yeah, sheet mask um, and it says deeply purifying, unclogs pores, absorbs excess oil, anti-blemish care and skin texture soothing. So it sounds like all the things I need at the moment. Um, cleanse the face, pat dry. Uh, blah 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 and leave on for 20 minutes so I'm gonna pop this on and then Charlie is already in bed waiting for me and we're gonna watch the final of the missing which I'm very very excited and intrigued about let me know in the comments if you've watched it and what you saw of the ending because by the time I read your comments I've seen it Ooh.